are about 80 miles south of Phoenix. Uh, we just got uh, done uh, taking care of some family things. Uh, we were in Saguaro National Park yesterday where it was a cool 111 degrees. So if you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen that photo there. It's about seven in the morning and we are at 88 degrees right now. So it's gonna be another warm day. We are actually on our way to get our first Arizona Jeep badge. So yes. we are gonna go up and uh, take care of Table Mesa Road. And then after that one, we'll head up to the next trail. But I just uh, wanted to say good morning and we're enjoying the weather while it's still cool. <laughs> Don't uh, do these trails in June. <laughs> yeah, don't do them in June like we are. We, we, found, we found Roadrunner nesting. Oh yeah, we did. Uh, we did have a, a couple of Roadrunners nesting at the house that we were staying at. So uh, my daughter, oh, we'll, we'll show them in a little bit, baby. Um, so she she found some Roadrunner feathers on the ground. She's very happy about. But uh, we are uh, probably about two hours out from the first trail. So we'll uh, catch up with you when we get there. What you got there, Jade? A feather. You got your Roadrunner feather? Yeah, you got a bunch of hot chocolate on your face, too. I just <laughs> noticed. <laughs> nope. For once, you're clean. Alright, we are in New River. So, uh, exit 234. A couple of exits up. Sorry, 232. Exit 236 is uh, an exit we're going to take to get to fall, uh, Table Mesa Road. So uh, it's already getting toasty. It's only about 8.30 in the morning right now, but man, it's, it's about 95 degrees. Uh, got our snacks and some drinks. So Ruby's all fueled up and uh, we're ready to go. So uh, let's get on the trail here. There's I-17 coming off the road. There's Gaia Maps right here. Table Mesa Road entrance. At least I think it's the entrance. <laughs> That's what Gaia Maps looks like, so. We'll go in here and we'll start Table Mesa Road and get this badge done. Woohoo! It's just a straight line. Well, just a straight line for now. It's gonna start twisting around on us. <laughs> Alright, so we started uh, started up Table Mesa and it looks like where I first came on is this little offshoot right here, which kind of goes around. There's another part of Table Mesa that goes up like this, and according to the Jeep Badge of Honor uh, badge, it looks like it's this trail. So we're gonna go up the frontage road a little bit and then come over on Table Mesa right through there. So we're just gonna pop back down the trail here and then uh, go over to that upper portion. All right, so you just take the frontage road north and it turns from pavement to dirt road and. I guess this is Table Mesa. I mean, from what I read, it's just pretty much a dirt road and there's a few offshoots for some four wheeling. So, we'll go tool around here for a little bit, but uh, we do need to make it up to Sedona because I think we're uh, Shelby Hill, isn't the other one back here? Uh -huh. Where we got to do Shelby Hill as well, and that's the trail that goes from Sedona all the way over to Flagstaff. But uh, we'll just. I mean, Awesome views though. Yeah, the views are great. I love the Suaros. Oh no, it's so challenging. Yeah. We were just passed by a minivan. So, this is one of the things we kind of talked about when we read about this trail. It was talking about how it was just essentially a dirt road and you can just do it with, you know, any regular old SUV. Kind of a long trip to come all the way out here to do this. Um, but we had personal reasons for being out here already though. We had so. personal reasons and if we were out here a couple hours from the trail and we're gonna loop around back to Colorado, uh, figure we might as well come through it. This is one of the things that they, I don't know if you guys can see that, that they say about the trail though that's not fun is there's a lot of trash laying around. You can camp right here and I guess people are not very respectful.
Big Table Mesa Road technically can send, uh, continue straight through that ramp. This is one of the little offshoots here. I'm not sure if we got horses. something we've not seen as much of in Arizona is built Jeeps. <laughs> Look at that uh, saguaro. The birds have like chewed it, it all up. They chewed it apart. You know, you can see at the top of them, they've got some fruit and there's like a little bit of a flower still. They flower earlier. They flower in the spring. And it's actually really beautiful, but... Um, like I said, it's June, so they've got the fruit on top. So here's like the trash that everyone's talking about. I mean, everyone comes out here and target shoots and there's just... Yeah. Just Ew, garbage. those are dead cows, honey. Oh, those are dead cows. Sick. I don't know that you want that on your video. Yeah, well, it's going to be on the video because it's That's realism. gross, I mean, man. There's, there's just trash everywhere. This Why is would you have dead cows out here? I don't know. They took the cows out and them down, I guess. Yeah. All right, well, I guess a little bit of obstacles. Guys, I'm going to apologize right now. We're going to do a lot of filming from inside. It is 107 degrees right now at 9.45 in the morning, so it's going to be hot. Oh, this is the hole we're sitting in. There's a teensy tiny rock down there that I'm hoping I can get him on. Yeah, now come like straighten out and come this way. And I'm gonna get out of the way so I don't get hit. There's a tiny rock I'm hoping you can get a grip on. There it is. There it is. So he got some grip, but I'll show you guys what we were. So coming up to another rock here. Now, with everything that we read, that table base was supposed to be pretty easy. Um, we did go with another person that's supposed to be wheeling with us, uh, but due to some sort of circumstances, they're not able to attend with us on this one, so. We're out here alone. In the desert. In the desert. In June. In June. So we will not be doing anything too crazy. I mean, our, our, our other um, companions that were supposed to be with us are um, still close by if we need anything. Um, know we're on the trail. You know, we've done everything we can to be as safe as possible, but we are unfortunately solo. That's a really big rock. <laughs> I'm gonna take the line on the right hand side here. Yeah. That rock on our right. Yeah. You're clearing it as long as you don't slide. this count as us doing the trail? Uh, like, does I, this earn a badge? Because I kind of felt guilty. With the other one? With the badge? I know. a badge driving on the dirt road. Because according to guy's GPS, I downloaded Table Mesa Road. There's a few offshoots, but we drove the one that looks like the Jeep badge. 
And we were done in like five minutes. And yeah, we were done like five minutes. I was able to do that trail at like 40 miles an hour. So, um, I, I think this is more like back home Rampart Range. Oh, well, we reached the end. Yay, of the, the trail. <laughs> um, I think this trail is much like the uh, Rampart Range Trail uh, in in Colorado, where it's just kind of a main artery and it just has a bunch of these veins that shoot off in order for you to uh, hit different trails. But I mean, we drove to the top of this mountain right here, and it's kind of a cool shot. Maybe yeah. we'll take out, get out, and take a picture quick, and yeah, see if yeah. we get a picture of Rubes out here. They got some sort of mining operation. We'll crop the photo so we don't have that mining operation. Yeah. All right, well, we're back from that offshoot. We're just going a little further down and... No, we're not. <laughs> no, we're not. <laughs> so, anyone that wants to say that we didn't earn this badge... Um, road closed. Road closed. It's a fee area. Upper lot, 5 a.m., middle lot closed, lower lot closed, river is dry go to something or other but there's a padlock on the gate right yeah there. so uh, yeah but guys this this trail is miserable uh, as you saw in there there's litter there's people pulling over and shooting everywhere there's dead cows all over the road there's how is this even a badge of honor trail I, I mean we may be doing this wrong and somebody's gonna jump on the comments below and be like, oh my gosh, you could have gone through the riverbed and gone past all of this to go to more camp areas. Yeah. I mean, it looks like there's vehicles down there, so maybe there's something I don't know, but there's a lock on that gate right there, so. I, I don't know. But honestly, this trail, from the reviews I read, it is essentially a Oh, dirt road. look at this, it says bald eagle closures. Closed to all entry December 15th through June 15th to protect bald eagles during the breeding season. Oh, well. That's cool. There you go. It's June what right now for us? The 12th or something? It's very close to June 15th. June 14th. 14th. So We're off by a day. It's off by a day. So, there you go. It's closed until tomorrow, guys. So we are about 12 miles in on the trail, so we're getting ready to go out right now. So about 24 miles round trip just on Table Mesa Road. Uh, honestly, this is, this is really disappointing. With the amount of litter and the mining operation destroying the area, the, the dead animals, the saguaros that are out here that you actually see the limbs of the saguaros just laying on the ground because people are shooting the limbs off of these cactus. These are protected, uh, trees, cactus that protect plants. You can't be out here destroying stuff and just, I don't know, it, the granola side of me is coming through right now and just, <laughs> <laughs> honestly, I'm, I'm really disappointed in, in the people that are using this area. I mean, we, we even saw a whole entire train of about 10 ATVs coming through and other than the first driver, Nobody waved, nobody used the proper signals to say how many people were left in the group. They all had a scowl on their face. I mean, maybe it's because it's 100 and, 110 degrees right now and they're <laughs> the driving scowl around on in a, anybody's a, face. <laughs> well, they had a, you know, they're, they're either angry people or they're just upset about sitting in an ATV at 110 degrees. But uh, I, I'm done with this trail, guys. I, I, I got. Yeah, this is one of my least garbage. favorite trails ever. There's only one other one that doesn't. Oh, hey, look at Jeep. Another Jeep guy. And see, no, no Jeep wave. Did you guys see? I just got shut down. <laughs> Literally. I mean, look over here, Becky. I mean, just. Are you going to rant? Yes, I'm going to rant. <laughs> look, look at the trash out there. This trail is disgusting. I mean, the. If, any, if this was in Colorado, it would be shut down. If this was in Colorado, people would be out with garbage bags picking it up because that's what we do. And you know what? We can pick up some trash, but there it looks like a landfill. Honestly, yeah. what I can do with the trash bag I have in back in the car right now would not make any sort of impact on this. And I don't know. This, this is 
is honestly depressing. Um, if you're looking to do a drive out just to do a trail. Not this one. Uh, probably not this one. I mean, well, I'm, I'm trying to film something interesting and fun on this trail for you guys, but um, there's really been nothing. I mean, what, what's over here? I mean, uh, you're probably just going up and down. We. Uh, oh no, they've got it blocked off. Oh wait, there's, there's an entrance over here. Is it an actual entrance or is it something that someone cut open? Yeah, right. Okay, there's a post there. It looks like it's a trail. Yeah, you probably just come up and loop around here like we. Oh gosh. <laughs> okay, you I... cannot do this part in 40, like at 45 miles an hour. You got well, I have two wheel drive and sway bars disconnected. Yeah, this, it just goes up and around back into the washes. It, maybe this is more of an ATV trail than it is a Jeep. Yeah, I don't know. Guys. Maybe we, maybe we're just not getting it. I don't get on this trail. <laughs> Anyways, this is my outro. If there's actually anything interesting up here, I'll pick up and just throw it in at the end uh, for credits or something like that. But uh, honestly, this is this is uh, this is this is uh, bad. Uh, that. This is bad. <laughs> Alright, thanks guys. We'll catch you on the next one. Hey, we didn't see anything interesting. amount of shells on the ground. Uh, I, Do you see there's a tire? Oh. See? There's tires. Yeah, uh, I mean, I can't even make Do the effort to clean this up. I, I'm having trouble being nice to people at the moment. We I'm always very down on people right now. We always try to assume positive intent. That's it. We're done with this trip. Peace out.